Hi everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video planned for you. It is a collaboration with my friend Caitlin. She is known on YouTube as Pixie Sticks and she makes the most incredible drawings. I absolutely love her work. For this collaboration we decided to create a secret board on Pinterest for each other. If you want to find out what images and theme I put together for her, you will have to go and check out her video. So for me, she went for a dark academia kind of style. And the very first thing that came to my mind, and you've also seen it in the thumbnail, is Snape's sitting room at Spinner's End. So let's get into this diorama. I've sketched out some of my ideas and made a brain dump on the page as well. This is my reference photo that I will be using for this diorama. It also happens to be late Alan Rickman's birthday this week. I have some fabrics I gathered for inspiration. I won't be using them all though. And some of the books that I've pre-made for a project that is coming up in April. However, I end up using all the books for this diorama, so I'll we'll have to make a few more for this secret future project. I'm starting off with this wooden board I've had for a while, but it's actually perfect to use as a base for a diorama. The walls I will be making out of foam board. You can also use cardboard. I used foam board because I like to decorate the outside of the dioramas as well, and I'm going to be carving bricks into the walls on the outside. I'm just taking a pointy tool and dragging that across the foam board to score in the brick texture. I then go over the entire surface with Mod Podge to make the surface stronger and so it's primed for paint dry brushing. The Mod Podge that I'm using has some black ink in it so I don't have to go over with a dark base coat. When that is dry and before I move on to the dry brushing of the bricks, I'm cutting out this window in an arch shape that I think fits really well in Snape's sitting room. I know this is not the movie version, but I'm just going to take some creative liberties here. I'm rolling a ball of foil over the surface to give it more texture and then dry brush on some grey acrylic paint to bring out those textures. When the paint is dry I'm applying glue in between the bricks and sprinkle on some very fine sand which will look like mortar when it's dry. I then brush over a mixture of water and acrylic paint to age it up and the outside walls are done. From black paper I cut out thin strips that I will glue on the sides of the foam board where you can still see the exposed foam to give it a nice finish. Back to the windows. I cut window frames from cardboard and I'm scoring it with a ball stylus to give it the effect of bricks. I then give it a coat of Mod Podge and dry brush acrylics to give it the same look as the outside walls. From a sheet of acetate I cut out two windows of which I will frost one. The frosted one will go on the outside the clear one on the inside. I'm putting bars on the in and outside of the frosted window to give it that old window look. The balsa wood that I'm painting here is going to be the backing of the bookcase. I'm using the same ink that I used for the floor. Then I'm measuring out the dimensions of the planks that I need to go into the bookcase, glue them in and paint them with brown ink. The wall that I'm making here is the wall the fireplace will be sitting against. 
By creating an extra wall, it gives more depth to the room and it allows me to create a cavity where I can hide the light switch in for the lights of the fireplace and the lamp. I'm then moving on to making the fireplace out of foam board and a top of balsa wood. I'm giving the fireplace also a complete coat of Mod Podge before painting it brown and dry brushing it with a light brown paint. From a piece of scrapbook paper I'm cutting out one inch strips that will be the wallpaper then gluing them on and aging them with watercolor paints. For the base of the fireplace, I'm marking a piece of balsa wood with a ball stylus to make it look like cobblestones. I'm using the same painting techniques as the outside walls. Moving on to the part that will really make this room, the armchair. I've sketched out what I want it to look like, taking rough measurements from an armchair that I found online and scaling it down. I'm cutting out the main pieces from foam board and gluing them together with super glue. I'm cutting out some foam for the back and the seat of the chair, gluing that onto some cardboard and then covering the entire chair with fabric. I'm adding beads to the base, which will be the feet of the chair, and I've added some little buttons that I've sewn on off-camera as it was pretty fiddly. And I'm sure you all know how to sew on a button. I then sand parts of the chair with a nail file just to age it up, and adding chalk pastels to add age stains. Before I'm adding the fireplace, I'm placing the lights in the diorama. I'm placing the battery pack with the light switch on the inside of the cavity with blue tack. This way it's out of the way and I can replace the batteries if I need to. I'm wrapping the lights that are inside the fireplace with orange tissue paper so it gives that glow effect. I'm making some logs with some corrugated cardboard that I roll up and paint with brown acrylic paints. I'm gluing them into the fireplace with hot glue.
From a green potion bottle I'm creating a table lamp. I've put three of the lights in there and the other two will be painted black so they don't emit any light. I have these bead end caps that are perfect candle holders and another bead end cap is good as a prophecy holder. Of course I have to add a few potion bottle ingredients to this room as well. From balsa wood I'm creating a little side table that can also be seen in the reference image. I found a few things that I'm putting together to create a mirror that will be above the fireplace. And I've added some tiny pieces of string to the candles that will be the candle wicks. With a hole punch I made a hole in the table for the wires of the lamp to go through and I'm gluing the lamp into place with hot glue. I've also made a little trinket box that will sit on the top of the mantelpiece. Let's see what this diorama looks like with all the bits and pieces in place. And this is it for this diorama. I love how it turned out and I'm glad I decided to add the lights in as that really brings life to this piece. Please check out Pixie Sticks her creation and show her some love and tell her I sent you. If you would like to support me, you can do so by signing up for my Patreon. You can find the link in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.